Food is one of the basic necessities of life. And while in animals that basically refers to killing a prey and eating it raw, humans have a more developed culinary sense. They spend a lot of time cooking, and some have made professions out of it. But every so often, we tend to return to our very base instincts. While that does not necessarily mean eating food raw, it does mean eating them while they are still alive. Let us take a look at some of the dishes that people eat while it is still alive. Number 10. Sanakji While many of us may not have heard it, Sanakji is a very popular dish served in Korea. And it is also pretty easy to make. All it takes is one baby octopus, known as Nakji, and it is basically chopped up into pieces and eaten alive. Of course, there is a seasoning of sesame seeds and sesame oil to go with it. What you eat is actually the tentacles, and the tentacles are still moving around when you swallow it. That actually can cause problems as the suction cups on the tentacles are still active and they can become stuck on the throat and can lead to choking. Deaths have been reported due to Sanchi choking, which is why it also finds its way into the lists of the most dangerous foods on the planet. Number 9. Sea Urchins Well, this one is as basic a food as you can get. What the dish involves is catching a sea urchin and eating its insides. No cooking, no seasoning, but of course, not the entire of the sea urchin is edible. They have a number of spikes, which can pose a little danger if not eaten properly. The edible part of the sea urchin is the row, which is on the inside. So, there is a special tool to open them up, though people can manage with scissors as well. The insides are generally eaten with a spoon, although people often lick them out as well. And if your insides are churning, you would not be the only ones. But then there are quite a few exceptions, as hunting for sea urchins and eating them properly has become a popular practice in Italy. Number 8. Drunken Shrimp As fancy as the name sounds in itself, the dish is actually fancier. It is a delicacy in China, or at least what some call it a delicacy. The drunken shrimp is basically just that. It's a bunch of shrimps dunked into a bowl of alcohol. Of course, the process is much more refined than that. But that is the essence of it. And while it is not always served with live shrimps, there are more than enough times that it is. The shrimp is served in a bowl of baijui, which contains almost 40 to 60% alcohol. A traditional dish involves around 10 full-grown live shrimps, which are dunked into the bowl of baijui. And the shrimp tend to thrash around a lot, so the consumers have to catch them and stuff them into their mouths before they can get away. If you are not careful and forget to chew before swallowing, they can keep wriggling even after they have been swallowed. Number 7. Nanoma Salad There is a very famous restaurant located in Copenhagen called Noma. In fact, it has been named as the best restaurant in the world on more than one occasion, and have even opened up restaurants elsewhere in the world. What makes the Noma as special is that they love to innovate. So much so that one of their signature dishes is the Noma salad, which is basically a bunch of ants in your salad. What happens is that the dish is served with chilled ants, so they move slower, making them easier to eat. These ants are supposed to taste like lemongrass, but why on earth would you not use lemongrass itself? And what's more, the Noma charges you over $300 for a salad that is crawling with ants. Hey, just go to a bachelor kitchen! You'll probably find that free of cost! Number 6. The Kasu Marzu Cheese is definitely one of the most popular food items the world over. Who doesn't love the hot melted mouth cheese that comes with pizza? And there are many types of cheese that you can choose from, but if you ever found out what the actual content in the Kasu Marzu is, you will probably be turned off cheese forever. The Kasu Marzu is a Sardinian cheese which is made from sheep's milk. The process of its production is that the larvae of cheese flies are intentionally put in the cheese to cut down on its fat content. The larvae eat through the cheese and seep a liquid known as lagrima. And after keeping it in that state for some time, the cheese is labeled ready for eating. And while some remove the maggots, there are also many who prefer to eat the cheese with the maggots. 
Oh, and they are advised to do that with their eyes closed as maggots tend to leap out. And if the thought tempts you, rather than nauseate you, you are kind of out of luck, as most places have a ban on the Kazu Marzu. Number 5. Oysters while oysters are a delicacy in almost all parts of the world, many might not be aware that they are probably eating it alive. And well, in their defense, it is often not easy to tell if the oyster is actually alive or not. The thing is, is that oysters tend to deteriorate much faster than other animal meat, so it is rather difficult to transport them after they are dead. Now, when the shell of an oyster is actually cracked open, they can survive for a long time, and it is only when the flesh is actually separated completely from the shell is when they begin to die, which is why oysters are almost always sucked out directly from the shell. So the next time you order an oyster, be prepared that you are going to be eating a live animal. Number 4. Eels When it comes to food, most people play it safe. But if you're a chef, you need to be open to food encounters of any kind, which was what prompted a renowned chef to try out a dish that he found at a local eatery in Japan. What the dish contained was basically baby eels. Basically, a bowl of baby eels is brought to the table, and you are asked to add vinegar and sake to the bowl. That makes them start to wiggle around, and you are supposed to catch them and eat them whole. And it is considered quite an experience in Japan, as the jiggling eels make way into your stomach and you can feel them moving around in your stomach. Definitely not an experience that everyone will be able to stomach. Pun intended. Number 3. The Cobra We have all heard of the venomous nature of the cobra which is why most of us would like nothing better than to never encounter them in real life. But then, there are some who live to actually eat the cobra. In Vietnam, customers can opt for a dish where they go up to a cage full of snakes, choose the one which they want, and then ask the chef to prepare it. What follows is pretty bizarre. The snakes are agitated in one way or another to get their hearts to beat faster. They are then sliced down the middle to let the blood flow into a half full glass of rice wine and the still beating heart is put into this drink. The juices of the gallbladder are then poured into another cup of rice wine. The customers then down the first glass with the still beating heart and then follow it up with the other glass with the gallbladder juice. And then, probably, there is a third bucket to puke it all out in. But that one might just be optional. Number 2. Apahi In Hawaii, you can often get fresh seafood, and in some cases, the food might be fresher than you think. We're talking about the apahi, which is basically a shellfish who love to cling to rocks. And that is why there are many apahi vendors who walk around with bags full of freshly cop apahi. And when they sell it to you, it's not just a live shellfish they are selling, but a complete dish in itself. The apahi are eaten straight out of their shells, with tentacles and all. They are usually served with a side of limu and a dash of salt. And if you think there is a danger of them crawling out of your mouth because, well, they are alive, be at peace. They are not really fast movers, and as long as you do not take forever to chew them, they won't come out. Of course, if you are adventurous, you can try and catch the apahi yourself and eat it without involving a vendor or a restaurant. But they have kind of figured out not to hang wherever humans are. They are kind of smart when you think of it. Number 1. The Lobster while it is still rare, cases of people picking up the lobster that they want to eat have still been heard of. What is rarer, and thankfully so, is the case of eating right out of the belly of a lobster while it is still alive, and staring at you while you devour it. The process is pretty gruesome as the lobster is sliced in half while it wriggles around. And the rest of the process is basically culling out the bits that are edible and it is served on a bed of ice for you to enjoy while the lobster watches you devour it. And the fact is that the dish must be prepared and served immediately so the muscles do not stiffen up and ruin the so-called experience. But the very idea of eating something while the rest of it is watching you is not a recommended activity for everyone. It takes a staunch heart and stomach and, very frankly, the world would not be missing out on something if this sort of food was banned.
Well, there were some of the foods that people love to eat around the globe which are actually not dead when eaten. And if you're feeling a little squeamish after listening about all those animals being eaten alive, you would not be the only ones. But if you are one of those adventurous eaters who have tried any of these dishes, do let us know in the comments below. And remember to subscribe to our channel to get the latest updates on all of our videos.